Happy Mother's Day, Cuties. In honor of Mother's Day, we're doing a special cute chats with cloth mamas. With my mama. Keep watching to see more. Hey, I'm Jamie, the creator of ClothCuties.com, a site designed to encourage you to cloth diaper your babies. From an infant through the toddler years, I've got the tips and tricks you need to simplify your cloth diapering experience. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, guys, and hey to all my new subscribers. You guys, Mother's Day is right around the corner, so we could not do this month's Mother's Day without doing a cute chat with my mama. My mother was the inspiration for my whole entire cloth diapering journey. So I thought this was a perfect opportunity to sit down, talk with her, and figure out why she thought cloth diapering would be a good idea for me. Let's listen to what she had to say. So this is my mom, everybody. This is Miss Gwen Lockett Taylor. Say hello to the people, mom. Hello, everybody. How are you? <clears throat> all right, we are going to get started, and we're going to talk all about cloth diapering today with my mom, what made her, you know, suggest the idea of cloth diapering to me, what made her want to see this for me in 2016. So we're going to just get right into it and we're going to start with the first question, mom. So do you know, do you remember how the introduction of cloth diaper, cloth diapering happened for me? Now for you as a mother and for you as a child. Okay, okay. Well, let's start with me as a mother. <laughs> do you remember uh, pitching the idea to me? I do. I do because uh, I was always familiar with a cloth diaper. I never was, uh, never used one of the other kind of diapers. Uh, we always got, had cloth diapers. We had to go to wash them and dry them and then bring them back in to put on the baby. So what made you want to say to me, Jamie, I think you should try out cloth diapering. And let me tell you how I remember the conversation. I remember the conversation going like, you know, Jamie, would you consider a cloth diapering service? And if you do consider it, I'll pay for it. And I was just like, mm, no. I don't no. know about that. No. I, I wasn't open to it at the mm. moment, but mm. I, the more I thought about it, I was like, okay, this could be a thing. Um, and then I started researching it and figured out there were no cloth diaper services in Beaumont. Right, right. So we took the idea of maybe doing an ownership type cloth diaper thing yeah, where I yeah. owned my cloth diaper, I built my stash, mm -hmm. and we washed them and did the whole shebang. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Right, right. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking that you were going to uh, right then at that time just do your business but I knew that this was a kind of diaper that you had to use for your baby. And why did you think it was a kind of diaper that we that we should use for Number the thing one on the is it because it's cloth. It's it's just like a, a shirt or something that you put on. Your body is warmer in a cloth diaper than it is in a uh, one of those regular diaper pull ups kind. So I wanted you to have to experience a cloth diaper because this is the only kind of diaper that I ever knew. Mm, okay. So let's go back in time a little bit and talk about you, your experience growing up with cloth diapering because you were a cloth diaper baby, right? With my mother? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm sure I was. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. And if not you, some of your other siblings no, were, we right? we were. We were. My mother was always, and my grandmother was with us, and it was always a cloth diaper because we always had to wash them. How did you know a new baby was coming? With who? <laughs> with my mother? Yes. The reason I knew a new baby was coming because I had to go wash a lot of diapers and a lot of cl little baby clothes. My mother never said, we're going to have a baby. No, it was just go to the washing interior, wash these diapers, fold them up, bring them home, and that was it. Wow. And I knew it was going to be a baby. And I've told them about this story on my channel that that was the way my mom knew she was getting a new little brother and new little sister. Yes. She had the task of going and prepping the diapers for her mom. So, so from that experience, did you cloth diaper Jaleesa and I? Yes. Yes. I, I never knew that, y'all. My mom mentioned that the other I day. I, my mind was yeah. blown. I did not know. I, I haven't seen any pictures of us in cloth diapers, so I did not know that. 
Yeah, I did. I did. I always did a cloth diaper. But I did the diapers that you had to uh, uh, put the diaper, the cloth diaper that you had to put the stretch your pen in and pin it. It wasn't anything uh, formal that, that just put the diaper on the baby and uh, put a snap uh, covering on it. It was just this. And then we had some little rubber pants or something that we could put on the baby and that kept them. That kept them from yeah. getting wet. Yeah. It kept them, not from getting wet because they were going to get wet, but it kept us knowing. Kept the wetness inside yes, the rubber pants. Yes, and knowing that the diaper is wet. Mm -hmm. So mom used safety pins. Safety pins. I have my safety pins up here. Ba when baby is uh, has to be diapered, I have the diaper. And, they can't see your lap though. Okay. I have the diaper, the cloth diaper, and I used to have the safety pins. Using the safety pin to pin one side and then the safety pin to pin another side. But not anymore. It's a new trend with Jamie's babies. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just always uh, a, a, a nice fit. The diapers always fit nicely and all. So it was just really good to have uh, cloth in their bodies because they had cloth, a shirt, cloth, uh, pants, and whatever else they wore, cloth dresses. So we just had cloth diapers. Got it. Got it. <laughs> what has surprised you most between how cloth diapers have changed and evolved from when you were using them on maybe me and Jalise until using them on Nathaniel and Noel? Well, the thing that, that has really changed, number one, is the size of the diaper. This, the inner part of the diaper also is very good to keep them wet. Just also, I mean, to keep them dry. Um, and so when when I was clothed in diapers, I didn't we didn't have that. You didn't have any additional no, layers. We didn't, have the, we didn't have that at all. So you just had a diaper that was maybe just this yes, this piece yes, right here. Yeah. And you had to fold it <laughs> fold and tuck it. it fold it, fold it as such, and then tuck it and then pin it. So you used a, what we call a pre-fold diaper. That is a style of prefold, but when it's cut and into the shape of a diaper, it's now called a fitted diaper. Okay. That's the okay. modern term. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. But they work exactly the same way. And we use a cover, and the cover's cut in the shape of a diaper. Everything's yeah. kind of been kind of modernized and streamlined yes. a little bit. Because, see, we just put on diaper panties. Um, yeah. Do they look like bloomers? Were they cut like bloomers, no, but they no, were rubber pants? No, what do no. rubber pants look like? Uh, it was just, uh, the covering was just, uh, just to keep the baby's uh, diaper. What did it look like? It, just like a pair of panties. So it looked like um, maybe some bloomers. No, uh, <laughs> some panties. Yeah. It looked like panties. Yeah, panties. Yeah. But they were rubber. Yes. Well, they were not rubber. They were um. Cause y'all call them rubber pants, so I'm trying to just get a visual of what that. I'm not. Like. I'm. I'm. I'm not saying rubber. Um, it was just um some fab. It's not fabric. It was something. Um, did it feel like this cover? No, no, it did not. No, it did not. It was just a plastic covering that you put on the diaper, on the baby after you put uh, her diaper on, and that would uh, that would keep the uh, water, uh, you know, keep the drinking, wetness but other 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 uh, from back, getting on the clothes. Yeah, yeah, on the, on the back side of the baby. <laughs> But now everything is so neat, so cute, snaps. You, you never had a safety pin in your baby's diaper. No, my babies did not use safety pins. They use snappies. Yeah. So as we, a closure. This is this is the clap the fasten. And uh, but today I had to I had to uh, uh, use my safety pin to do to do this. Yep, so it's a whole lot easier now, right? Well, I'm not sure that it's a whole lot easier, but I just like the style. Of you the like diaper. that style? I like the style of the diaper. And I like this because it's always cute. 
<laughs> Ours was just a little plastic pullover. So yeah. we should think when we think of like what you cough diaper with me. So it looks like a pre-fold and plastic panties. Uh -huh. That was the combination. Yes, 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 yes. We didn't just let them go with just a diaper like that. Right. It had to be a cover mm -hmm. with some kind of way. But see, we use the safety pin. I could actually I can pin this diaper to one of the one of my brothers. Pin the diaper like that without the safety pin. Just pin it all together. Like yeah. That. Moms do that now with those too. Like you don't always have to use a closure, yeah. but it makes it a little easier. Mm -hmm. And then just put it on, um, you know, on the baby. Mm -hmm. As a grandmother, uh -huh. you want to show us your favorite style of diaper? So at my mom's house, um, when the kids would come over, she had a diaper drawer. You want to show them the diaper drawer, mom? Oh yeah. This is the this is the chest of drawers in my bedroom that I grew up in. And what's in your diaper drawer, Mom? There's some pull-ups. There's some disposable pull-ups. My cloth diapers. Her cloth diapers. My pull-ups. Her pull-ups. And then the um What's that? This is the uh paper for wet. Yeah. Yeah. And with the snaps. Mm-hmm. And so this is the way that um, um, Nathaniel and Noel were diapered. So show us what your favorite diaper is. My favorite diaper, I can't really say because my favorite diaper is not one of the diapers that we used to use with pinning on the side as such. <laughs> but that was my favorite diaper. You liked well, diapers that you had to actually pin? Well, I did at that time, but after after uh, Noel and uh, Nathaniel came along, all I had to do was put the diaper on, hold it tight, and snap it. And put the cover on it. Put the cover on it. Mm -hmm. That was the way. So that was, the, was that the favorite style of diaper that you used for Nathaniel and Noel? This that one that's in your hand? Well, these yes. These are the ones that I use for... Uh, Noel and um, Nathaniel. Are there any other styles of diaper in there? Or do you just have the covers and um, fittings? Well, oh, do you want these? Any other cloth diapers? Oh, yeah. There are some more. Here. Any other styles? I, That's still I, the same style. I don't Let's think see. So, Let's no. see. Let's go rummaging through the drawer. There's some bloomers in here, some more covers. Lots of covers. Lots of covers. Mom really liked fitted and cloth. covers. I like the cloth. So um, let's see. Let's see if she has any all in ones in here. I don't. I don't even think. No all in ones are fitted. Mom really liked those fitted and covers. So that's mm -hmm. what's in here. And this mm -hmm. other random yeah. kiddo stuff. Mm -hmm. Jamie always had a, a stash for me here in the drawer. A uh, stash in the backpack or whatever and I could always go and get a diaper and change and then bring it back. Mm -hmm. And then we start playing again. Did you ever wash any diapers? Oh uh, yeah, I did. I Well, I always, usually you brought a, 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 a diaper pack, pack and so I could just, if they were dirty, um, rinse them off. And uh, in the in the water in the commode, rinse it off, and just put that in the backpack. But <clears throat> if it was just a, a wet diaper, that was no problem. You know, she would wrap it up. I would wrap it up, put it in the uh, uh, the backpack, and they would go home. So. But the stash that you have here in the drawer, I think you kept those the whole I time kept, and I you kept, would wash I, them yourself. I kept these diapers because if it wasn't something that you did not bring, it was always something in here. So everything that I've had in this drawer has always been something that I had uh, for, the, for the baby. Yesterday when the kids were here, if I had to uh, go and change something, I would just come to this drawer, find something that they could fit now, change them and let them go. <laughs>
when I would bring a wet bag and drop them off or drop my daughter off, I would use a combination of pocket diapers and all-in-ones plus this. This fitted style diaper is the staple that we kept here at my mom's house. So. And so this is the one that I really know about. This is my favorite. I don't <laughs> so know about all of this. That is her favorite, but she used a few other styles of diapers. She might not remember, but she did. <laughs> okay. All right. So would you recommend cloth diapers to like other grandmothers? Do you feel like they're easy to use as a grandma? I would. I would recommend them. Uh, I would recommend cloth diapers anyway to anybody. Uh, because these are the ones that keep the baby drier, and it also keeps them from ha having a, a body, you know, chaff, chaff, chaff on chafing body, and body chafing. and diaper yeah. rash. Yes, yes, and that's why I would always use these. Yes, but you this, would always. This recommend. is my favorite, and then always, I always had such a pretty little covering over it. You know, after I snapped it on. And hat snap this side, snap both sides. It would be always pretty on on the baby. Mm -hmm. So you just let them run around. Covers do make it and cute cover. and yes. give it some personality. Yes. yes, yes, it always did. And you just let them run around in the house with their diapers on, with the covering on like this, and it was just good. It mm -hmm. was nice, yeah. I enjoyed that. Yeah, they are super cute. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's one good thing about the cloth diapers, but I'd have to go to the store and get me an, another bag of diapers. I can always just wash these diapers, wash the covering, wash both of them, and hang them up to dry, and we'll always have something available. Yep. Yeah. That's one benefit of cloth diapering. You don't run out of diapers. You just gotta wash them. You might you, you might want to, but you don't <laughs> you don't run out of them. Yes, yes. So it was just it really was a nice way to keep a baby nice and clean, and then just to make the baby look nice. <laughs> you know, with whatever color shirt uh, that they were wearing, or whatever color pants, or whatever, put it back on them, and they're ready to go. Yep. That's right. Mm -hmm. So it really is simple. Um, cloth diapering has a perception that it's a little bit more complicated, but I find that it's really easy. What do you think? Well, it it, it was a little complicated. It, it's compl complicated when you're learning, but after you get into it, you... How long do you think it took you to learn with your grandbabies? Uh, probably, I don't know, maybe about... Um, because they grow so fast, but maybe like first of all, first of all, first when they're first born, it's real, real easy to pull them tight so that they can fit, and then after they grow up, they get a little bit. Uh, they have to. And these style, grow. this style had sizes, so mm -hmm. yeah. um, depending when they were really small, we. You can indicate small one. Yeah, yeah, you indicate the size by the color of thread. But uh -huh, they had uh -huh. smaller ones, but as they grew, we changed yes, out the size. Yeah, yeah. Um, to a bigger right, fitted exactly. style diaper. Yeah, right. Now these also change too. No, those don't. Those mm -hmm. are one size. So we can adjust these. And I probably came over and just adjusted them, but you adjust the size of this diaper by using the rise buttons. These two top layers of buttons are for their waist and these buttons going down are for their legs and thighs so when they're teeny tiny you bring it all the way up to the top uh -huh. Uh -huh. all the way across Fasten it all the way yep and it's probably not neat and pretty but it's the way you button it to make it smaller in size uh -huh. and then to get the waist really tight you just bring it in as far yeah. as you need yes. to along yes. the yes. waist yes. So but you just resize them as baby grows. Yes, it's always nice. It's always nice to have these. I really enjoyed these. Um, that's why I didn't let her take them home because I like them. <laughs> <laughs> let is a strong word. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, is there anything else you want to say about cloth diapering? Well, I would tell any young lady who is having a baby or had a baby, just try it. Don't, don't. Don't um, just uh, just try cloth diapers and don't, don't think that I can't do this, I can't do that. 
but you can help, you can uh, do it. It's very simple to do, and uh, it just takes a little time after learning, or after you learn, then it's just really easy. You can just go right on into it, mm -hmm. and also with the uh, covering, same way. You can always go into it, go uh, try it. Might not work the first time, second time, or the third time, but it will work. I tell you, it'll work. It will work. <laughs> it'll work if you work it. It'll work. It'll work, girlfriend. It'll work. And I'll add to that, um, if you don't like this style of cloth diaper, there's a myriad of cloth diaper styles that you can choose from. So find the one that works for you. In mm -hmm. terms of this grandmother, fitteds and covers worked really well for her, especially it was, I think it was a good reminder of the cloth diaper she used in the past. And so it was a modern way to bring it to the future. Yes, and it was easy yes. for her to wrap her mind around mm -hmm. and to use. <laughs> um, but if your mother-in-law, mom, grandmother, wants to try a different style of diaper, maybe all-in-ones are easy because they're just one piece or maybe pockets are easy because you can do the stuffing and leave it with her as one piece. But find the diaper that works for you and your caregiver, your grandmother, and yeah, you can totally do it. Just yeah. got to give it a try. Just make sure that it's crossed. <laughs> That's the most important thing. It has to be a cloth diaper. Now, Mom, since you brought that up, we do have <laughs> to tell the people that now, at, we start off with cloth. We did. We went really hard, really strong with cloth. But when my son hit about two years old and he was in school, he had to start being potty trained. That yes. was a requirement to go yes. into the three-year-old class. So we, we started using um, pull-ups at that point in yes. time. Yes. And with my daughter, we actually used pull-ups a whole lot sooner than we would have. So mom had a combination of fitted diapers and disposable pull-ups. We never used disposable diapers, but we did use pull-ups. Um, pretty early on. With 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 Noel. With, yeah. with your daughter. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So I mean that's and, and it and it works, right? So you just have to figure out what combination of if you're using disposables, if you're trying to transition the cloth, do whatever works for you. There's no harm, yeah. no foul in using yes. either, all, both. Just make yes. the combination work yes. for you. Yes. Either either combination, but I this is my favorite. <laughs> And I would suggest that you go out and try it with your new baby. <laughs> and thank you, Mom, for introducing me to cloth diapers. I wouldn't have, I didn't know that this would morph into like a channel and me sharing my cloth diapering experience with people. But, you know, that's how it started with you planting the seed. We watered it and now it's growing. It's growing up. It's growing up. So we're not in diapers anymore. Thank and you have a two-year-old. That is not in a diaper. No, she's been yeah. potty trained since right when she flipped over the two. Yes, yes, yep. yes. So that's great. You've done a great job. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, and I think just keep it up. Baby number three. Child, you do the shop is closed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Mom. All right. I really hope you enjoyed that chat with me and my mom. She really kind of dropped some gems and nuggets and put some historical background to why she thought cloth diapering would be a good idea for me and my growing family at the time. Who inspires your cloth diapering journey? Tell me about it in the comments below. As always, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel and head over to clothcuties.com where there's more content to help encourage your cloth diapering journey. <laughs> These little people are crazy. Happy Mother's Day, y'all. Subscribe to our channel. Bye. Subscribe to our channel. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Give it.